Okay, this is for all of you white horse owners out there. If you have a white horse that loves to roll and comes out looking like it's a paint, or even a brown horse, this is the video for you. You might want to stay tuned. This is my white Arabian. You can see he is absolutely filthy. Full of sweat and mud. Just got him out of the pasture this morning. And what I'm about to do, I do it every day, so it's not like this is anything new. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with the tools that you probably already have. So just hold on one second. Okay, um, now in this part of the video, I'm going to be showing you the tools that you will need and the optional tools to make your horse look gorgeous. Alrighty, now these are the tools that you will need and some that are optional. Okay, first one is a curry brush, just a regular plastic curry brush, you can find it anywhere. Next necessary is a stiff brush. Next necessary is a medium brush. Now I would definitely recommend this brush in particular. I love it. Um, and then the next necessary would be a soft brush. Now the unnecessaries are a setting block which is the bar name for it, and the official name for it is a Slick and Easy. And another option is a face brush. I like that one a lot. Okay. Um, you'll need some detangler, and depending on the season, fly spray. So thick uh, conditioner. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little trick for this. If you're going to any kind of shows at all, you know, put a little bit of glitter into the hoof conditioner. It gives it a really nice touch. Okay, uh, now we're going to get started. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to use the curry brush. Now, um, this is really easy and very simple. All you do is you take the brush and you just go like that in a circular motion all over the horse's body. Okay, now you don't wipe it off or anything. Just circular motion all the way around the horse's body and I already did this side so this is what it's going to look like whenever you're done with the curry brush I mean not much of a difference but it's definitely better all it does is it loosens the hair and dirt so it makes it easier to take off okay next we're going to use the hook okay now we're done with the curry brush and next you use your hard brush stiff brush or mud brush whichever you prefer and this is the side that I have used both the curry brush and the hard brush now that's amazing to consider what I started with now here's the side that has been the curry brush has been used on it but not the hard brush so use the hard brush like you would regularly use it just brush everything off and um, I'm going to finish up that and get back to you guys. Okay, the next tool that I use is optional, the uh, shedding block. Now, this is the side that I have used the shedding block on. It really is an amazing tool. And then, this is the side that has been used, the curry comb or brush and the um, hard brush. Now you take your, your uh, shedding block and you can do it this way or this way. Now this way is the most uh, time efficient. You just kind of go like that and scrape and scrape and scrape. But this way definitely gets rid of the most debris and dirt that would be on your horse. Right, just take it and go like that. And I mean it's awesome. Recommend it to anybody, especially those who show horses. Okay. You can see the difference. See right there is where I used it. Wide a spot and then dirty on the side. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna do that all around him. And then next we're going to use my favorite. Okay, now um I forgot to tell you the only flaw about this is it sheds, um, so to speak. You, as you use it, it kind of like grinds away, and it'll last you for about one shedding season. But it's definitely worth the buy. See, it 
comes off. But, um, it's still definitely worth the buy. It's about $3 on horse.com and uh, it's definitely a great buy. Anyway, so take my favorite brush, medium brush, and um, yeah, I'm going to show you what's doing next. Okay, uh, back to the medium brush. Now, I've just brushed down the side of him. And, um, you can't tell very much on this video, but this brush is really awesome. Um, it's very soft, it's very durable, and it really gets the job done. Now, this side, I have not used it on. You know, you just use it like any other brush. -la 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 -la. So, um... Use it like a regular brush, because it is a regular brush. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to finish up on that side, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done. Okay, um, I just got done brushing him down with this brush first, face brush, and the extra soft brush. So, um, I'm finished with the body, and this is what it looks like when it's clean. And, um, next I'm going to show you how to do the hair, the proper way to take care of the hair, contrary to popular belief. So, um, if you consider what I started out with, yeah, this, I do this every day, sometimes twice a day, because he likes to roll in the muddiest, dirtiest places. So, I go through this a lot, and it really doesn't take long at all. Uh, but it keeps your horse looking really nice, and it just works. I find it works very well. So, um, let's get to the hair. Okay, um, what I've done is I've taken the mane, and I've flipped half of it over on that side, and then wet with detangler his mane. And what most people go wrong is they use a mane and tail comb or brush, something like that. No. That pulls the hair out. What you need is, you need your hard brush, your mud brush, and you brush it with that. And trust me, their hair will grow so much faster, okay? So, just like we do with our hair, start at the bottom, up, 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 and it won't take that long because put in a detangler and everything, mane and tail, or uh, cowboy magic is my favorite. Mane and tail preferably just because it's a lot cheaper. And uh, it makes their hair go a little bit faster, which I'm desperate for right now. Doing anything I can to make his hair grow faster because whenever I got him, he had no hair. They had shaved his hair completely and, well, I am getting his hair to grow. Which I think I'm doing a pretty good job of. Okay, anyway, so you'll do the same thing. All right, now once you've got his mane, tail, and forelocks all combed out, if you want something for an additional shine, don't buy any kind of show sheen or something. I mean, you can if you want, but this works the best. Piranha, regular piranha, works great for shines. Um, so, yeah, this is what he looks like, all cleaned up. Now... I'm going to show you okay, now I'll put the piranha on him, and I doubt you can tell right now, but he's very sleek and shiny. So, if you want a gorgeous horse, just follow my step-by-step -step instructions. Bye!